Hey everybody, I'm John Merritt from Born to Produce. Welcome to this Any Door Start to Finish Ambient Stroke Chill Steppy tutorial. The first thing I want to do is actually play you the track that we're going to make together called Cascade. I'm going to play the whole thing so you can get a real sense of what this track is all about. But of course, if you don't want to listen to the whole thing, that's fine. I'll leave a timestamp on the screen so you can skip ahead if you like. So this is going to be a lot of fun to make and highly informative. The first four lessons are completely free. Uh, now this first lesson is just an intro to the course and we'll cover some of the basic things about how the tutorial will work if you're using a different door to me. So if you want to get cracking and you want to skip on to the next lesson where we actually start making the track, that's fine. There's a link in the video description that will take you to lesson two. So as mentioned, this can be followed in any door, but that does require that you have enough knowledge of your door uh, that you can, for example, find a similar effect or know how to use automation. Um, I have tried to use standard effects and techniques that will be available in all doors, or I've tried to use free plugins that anybody can download and use. But please don't worry if you can't exactly match what I do. It's much, much more important that you understand the technique and why and when to use a specific technique rather than be able to match precisely every single little thing that I do. Now, if you have bought the course, you'll also have all of the stems, audio samples, MIDI files, and instrument patches. So if you get stuck, you can simply load them into your door. But just know that we do make everything in this track from scratch throughout the tutorial. So two more 
quick things before we go on to lesson two. Uh, of course, you are learning how to make just one ambient stroke chill steppy kind of track, but try to see this as an on-ramp into these genres. So we're going to cover many of the main skills that you need to uh, like music theory, sound design, arrangement, mixing, uh, creating space and loads more. So by the time you're done, you'll have a decent understanding of how to go about making your own ambient chill step tracks. All right, so last thing, I work at 96 kilohertz sample rate and 24 bit, and all the audio samples and stems are recorded at the same settings. Um, so I do recommend that you use 96K 24 bit, but you can work at a lower sample rate if you want. It's just a recommendation. Okay, so that's it for the intro. Use the link in the description to go to lesson two. See you in the next one.